Have you ever wondered if time travel could be more than just a sci-fi fantasy? The idea of journeying through the temporal dimensions, of revisiting the past or glimpsing the future, has captivated the human imagination for centuries. From H.G. Wells' seminal novel The Time Machine to blockbuster movies like Back to the Future, time travel has been a recurring theme that sparks our curiosity and sense of wonder. But is time travel merely a fictional concept or is it grounded in real scientific principles and theories? Could it one day be possible to build an actual time machine and traverse the corridors of chronology? These are the profound questions we'll explore in this video. We'll delve into the cutting-edge theories from physics that hint at the potential for time travel. We'll examine fundamental principles like time dilation, causality, and the nature of space-time itself. We'll grapple with the mind-bending paradoxes that arise when entertaining the idea of altering the past or future. And ultimately, we'll assess the current state of scientific research into time travel, the feasibility of achieving it based on our modern understanding of the universe, and the staggering philosophical implications should time travel ever become a reality. So get ready to embark on an intellectual adventure through the realms of space and time. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper appreciation for the profound enigmas surrounding the possibility of time travel. Let's begin. At the heart of modern physics theories that entertain the possibility of time travel is Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of general relativity. Published in 1915, this landmark idea revolutionized our understanding of gravity, space, and time itself. General relativity revealed that the three dimensions of space that our senses experience are inextricably interwoven with the dimension of time into a unified space-time fabric. The theoretical models allowed for the existence of exotic space-time geometries and distortions that could, in principle, permit an advanced civilization to construct a sort of time machine. One possibility predicted by Einstein's equations is the existence of wormholes, hypothetical tunnel-like connections or all speculative, these theories from general relativity and quantum physics at least open up the conceptual possibility of bending and circumventing the typical arrow of time. But actually achieving something as audacious as functional time travel would require extreme conditions and tremendous technological capabilities currently beyond our grasp. Let's explore some key principles that any hypothetical method of time travel would likely need to grapple with. A foundational concept in modern physics germane to time travel is that of time dilation. The phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of special relativity in which time quite literally slows down the closer you get to the speed of light relative to another observer. Atomic clocks aboard high-speed jets and spacecraft have experimentally confirmed this effect. Time dilation shows that the rate at which time passes is not an absolute cosmic constant, but is relative and flexible based on velocity through space-time. While this isn't quite the same as traveling through time itself, it does demonstrate how our experiences of time's flow can drastically differ based on our particular motion and orientation within the space-time fabric. Speaking of special orientations within space-time geometries, Einstein's general relativity equations allow for the existence of closed time-like curves, theoretical space-time trajectories or paths that bend back upon themselves in a loop, intersecting with an object's own past. It's these closed curves that open up scenarios for objects or information to seemingly travel through time, or for time travel paradoxes like the famous grandfather paradox to arise. The grandfather paradox illustrates the potential issue of a time traveler going back and inadvertently or intentionally altering events in a way that would prevent their own existence, such as killing their grandfather before he met their grandmother. This is part of the broader problem of causality violation posed by time travel into the past and the paradoxes that would arise if you could change things that are already part of your established timeline and personal history. One proposed resolution to such paradoxes is the Novikov self-consistency principle. The idea that any viable method of time travel into the past would necessarily be constrained to avoid any inconsistencies or changes that create paradoxical alterations to history. It posits that the past is essentially immutable and that time travelers would be bound by the existing timeline rather than able to modify it at will. So while creative storytellers often revel in presenting outlandish time travel paradoxes as narrative devices, any real theory of traversable time would likely need to grapple with rigid self-consistency requirements to avoid logical contradictions and paradoxes. But for the sake of imaginative thought experiments, let's briefly explore a few classic time travel paradoxes we already touched on the grandfather paradox, 
The idea of a time traveler going back and accidentally or purposefully killing their own grandfather before he meets their grandmother, thereby preventing their own existence and creating a logical contradiction. Avoiding paradoxes like this may require some kind of self-consistency principle as we discussed. But there are other brain teasers and logical knots that seem to arise when considering the implications of time travel into the past. One is the bootstrap paradox, a theoretical scenario where an object or piece of information exists without any clear origin point. It's as if it was created from and inspired by itself in an endless loop across time. A classic example is the story of a student writing a best-selling novel after finding a future copy of itself in the university library restroom, inspiring them to go back and write it, with no clear original version ever existing outside of the paradoxical loop. How could such ontological paradoxes or uncaused causes be logically possible? Another similar paradox is the idea of ontological paradoxes or self-existing information paradoxes. These are scenarios where information, an object, or even a sentient being seems to come into existence without any clear origin, as if it was always already there across all of time in a self-contained, paradoxical loop with no ultimate causal source. If time travel to the past were possible, it opens up a strange metaphysical can of worms filled with scenarios like these that seem to violate fundamental principles of causality and logic. Any coherent theory of time travel would likely need to wrestle with resolving or prohibiting such paradoxes from occurring, vitalizing albeit controversial hints that some aspects of quantum systems may slightly travel backwards in time. Another major area of inquiry highly relevant to time travel is research into the physics of black holes, singularities, and exotic space-time geometries predicted by Einstein's equations of general relativity. Physicists are actively studying wormholes, the possibility of artificial wormhole construction and maintenance, and what predictions general relativity makes about the prospects of creating closed time-like curves or time machines. Recent experiments have even attempted to create microscopic artificial wormholes and study their properties, though scaling them up to human traversable sizes remains an astronomical challenge for now. Other experiments attempt to probe the properties of space and time itself by observing things like gravitational waves and radiation from black holes. There's also a lot of theoretical work going into reconciling the laws of general relativity which permit time travel paradoxes, with the laws of quantum mechanics which prohibit paradoxes from arising due to the probabilistic constraints of the uncertainty principle. Some hypotheses propose that quantum effects may provide a natural censorship to prevent grandfather-type paradoxes from ever occurring even if time travel is technically possible according to general relativity. Much more work is needed to resolve these theoretical conflicts. Despite the tantalizing lines of inquiry, it's important to acknowledge the tremendous technological hurdles and daunting energy requirements that would be involved in any potential attempts to create a real-world time machine capable of sending macroscopic objects like humans backwards through time. Even just keeping a tiny, microscopic wormhole open and traversable based on our current understanding would require harnessing energies equivalent to the mass of an entire star or galaxy. Generating and manipulating such colossal energies is far beyond our present capabilities as a civilization. Many leading physicists judge the prospects of physically achieving human time travel to be extremely unlikely, if not inherently impossible based on the laws of physics as we understand them. But the theoretical work continues to deepen our insight into the quantum and cosmic realms where such speculative possibilities arise. Even if we cannot build a DeLorean-like time machine to go back to the future, probing the frontiers of time and causality remains a profoundly important area of physics research. It's already led to key insights about the malleability of time, the nature of gravity, black holes, and cosmic evolution. And who knows, some radically new perspectives or technological leaps in the future could crack open possibilities we cannot yet foresee from our current vantage point in the early 21st century. Only time will tell. Speaking of which, let's now turn to some of the profound philosophical implications that arise when deeply pondering the potential for time travel. While time travel may seem like a fanciful sci-fi concept, Taking the premise seriously and thinking through its potential ramifications leads to some enormously complex philosophical and ethical quandaries that cut to the core of how we understand reality, causality, and the foundations of ethics itself. Let's start with the ethical side. If time travel into the past were somehow achievable, it could conceivably open up scenarios where individuals or nations could rewrite history according to their own interests or agendas. 
terrible tragedies or atrocities might potentially be prevented through judicious time traveling. Or they could be deliberately caused or amplified through malicious interventions in the past. Who gets to decide what parts of history should be changed or preserved? Can altering the past in any way be morally justified, even if it prevents great evil and suffering, given the unpredictable butterfly effects it could have across all later events in the space-time continuum? Is preserving the established timeline and all its horrors ultimately the most ethical stance? Then there are the mind-bending implications for free will that the theoretical possibility of time travel into the past seems to raise. In a universe where events are not bound by a strict linear chronology, and the past can be revisited and altered, what does this say about the degree of freedom in our decisions and actions? Are we simply treading an immutable four-dimensionality at its deepest level? An ontological fuzziness that provides true openness and probability distributions rather than strict determinism. Yet, on the largest cosmic scales, general relativity seems to describe a perfectly deterministic, smooth evolution of space-time geometry obedient to rigid laws and equations. This dichotomy plagues many unified theories of time travel which bridge quantum and relativistic scales. Do free will and indeterminism ultimately reign supreme with an open-ended, probabilistic future? Or is reality actually a predetermined, self-consistent block universe or multiverse where all possibilities are fixed in the geometry of space-time, with time travel simply tracing? Different permitted trajectories through this inflexible totality? As you can hopefully see, once you start really diving into the deep waters of time travel, it doesn't take long before you're swimming in the most profound ontological and existential questions of philosophy. While the physics of time travel remain highly speculative, the philosophical implications alone are well worth exploring and grappling with. Well, there you have it folks, we've gone down quite the rabbit hole in this exploration of the audacious possibility of time travel and all the physical theories, principles, paradoxes, and philosophical quandaries it touches upon. While the prospects of achieving functional time travel remain highly dubious based on our current technology and understanding of the universe, we certainly can't rule it out entirely. Physics has revealed that space and time, which we subjectively experience as rigid and inflexible, are in reality highly malleable dimensions of an interconnected space-time fabric. Concepts like time dilation, wormholes, closed time-like curves, and non-locality all hint at subtle ways in which temporal directions might be bent, looped, or transcended. Yet these theoretical glimpses of chronological transcendence come packaged with a dizzying array of logical paradoxes, causal violations, and existential conundrums that any coherent model of time travel would need to be able to resolve. From questions of free will, determinism, and the nature of causality to tangled ontological riddles and ethical minefields around the consequences of historical revisionism, pondering time travel leads us down pathways that ultimately stretch our cognitive faculties to their limits. But that's precisely what keeps this subject so endlessly fascinating and worth continued scientific and philosophical inquiry. For even if physical time travel remains permanently out of reach, rigorously exploring its implications places us at the vanguard of understanding the deepest truths of reality, the cosmos, and our place within it. So while the jury may still be out on whether we'll get our flying DeLoreans and flux capacitors, it's a debate and area of research that's undoubtedly worthwhile and enriching to engage with as we collectively attempt to unlock the mysteries of space and time. Those are just my scattered thoughts for now, but I'm really keen to hear your own perspectives and reflections on this mind-bending topic. Where do you currently stand on the plausibility of achieving time travel? Which theories or principles intrigue you the most or seem flawed? How would you wrestle with the paradoxes and mind-bending implications if time travel were possible? Let me know your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. And if you found this exploration illuminating and thought-provoking, do give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating science and philosophy content.